Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video is about um, some major updates that I've pushed to Rebos. See, so I made a video about Rebos, which is my tool for um, repeatability on any Linux distribution. It tries to sort of do what NixOS does for like package installs and stuff, so you can um, get up and running very quickly. It's not as reproducible as NixOS, but like you can reinstall all the packages with a single file and stuff like that. If you haven't seen that video, go watch that video. Uh, link down in the description. But anyways, I wanted to talk today about some changes I made to Rebo, some very big changes. So uh, change one that came around in Rebos 2.0 is Rebos now supports any package manager. So this video isn't so much going to be a tutorial, it's more of just going to be like after you watch that previous video, um, come back to this video so you understand what has changed. So what has changed is instead of saying like pkgs, uh, you know, cargo or crates, uh, you know, just like whatever I was doing before. Now what you do is you in your um, in your Rebos config, what you do now is you create manager files. So uh, you create a directory called managers and you go into managers and in managers you put your managers. So um, for example, the system package manager, I have a system.toml here. Inside of system.toml, I have add, which the install field was renamed to add in Rebos uh, 3.0. This was to generalize things, so they're no longer package managers, they're just managers. And this is so like you can add systemd services and stuff to uh, these managers. So add, remove, sync, upgrade. So you have your command specified here. You have the plural name. This is just for like display purposes. Uh, then you have your config. And this has been moved. In the previous version of Rebos uh, 2.0, um, the way you'd have this specified is you'd have it specified like this, uh, which is just a bad way to do things because this was a hash map uh, on the back end so not a very smart way to do things if you misspelled this you were in for a hell of a time so I changed that to this which is much more elegant and I'm very proud of that so you create your managers in here so like for example here's Flatpak uh, you can you can leave out any commands that the manager doesn't actually use. So like cargo uh, doesn't have a sync or an upgrade command. And I like this solution a lot more because it means you can use custom commands too for managers that already existed. So like flatpak and cargo. Um, so that's managers. So once you put the files in the managers directory, the way you use them is you what you do is in gen.toml you say managers dot and then the manager name without toml so like for system packages managers dot system um, and then the items field and the items field is what holds like all the packages and stuff. You can see why this is so nice because now I have like a managers.serve startup. This is for systemd startup services and I put sddm in here. I no longer have to do that in the post build script which uh, using hooks in Rebos is not recommended because hooks are entirely separate from the tracking system. All right, next uh, we have the manager order file. And in the manager order file, uh, this is where you can specify orders. So sometimes you need a manager to run before other managers or you need a manager to run after other managers. So um, 
what you can do is put them in this file. And so if I wanted, for example, cargo to run before all the other managers, so the cargo manager, I just put the cargo manager up here in start. And that would run before all other managers. And then if I wanted the, all the like system D managers to run after all the managers, um, I'd put them in this end um, parameter. And this is actually, so anything not specified here will just run in an arbitrary order in between both of these, but anything in these fields uh, are in a specified order. So like service startup will actually run before service now. Um, so these are linear. And that's, that's really it. That's all I added to Rebos in this big update, but it's a lot. It's uh, very useful indeed. Also, another thing to note is if you're in, um, if you're, I don't have any hooks that use post install, but if you have post installation hooks, so like, hooks that run after a certain manager installs packages, rename those install to add because in the generalizing update 3.0 when I renamed the term package manager to just manager and I renamed install to add, uh, that includes like for example if you have a post flat pack install hook, rename that to post flat pack add because I also changed that. All right, well, that's it for this update video. If you guys don't already use Rebos, um, make sure to check it out. I have all the links down in the description. I hope you enjoyed this quick little refresher video. Um, and until next time, I'll see you guys uh, later. Bye.